Schreiner, Abenteurer, Psychiater und Unternehmer. Der Bertrand Picard, Gast im Tag at the Studio im Ringe Pressehaus in Zürich. Die illustrierte Gästenschar hat das Gespräch zwischen der Christine Meyer und dem Bertrand Picard live mitverfolgt. Der Westschweizer, ein sogenannter Global Influencer, hat über seine Abenteuer und sein Engagement für die Umwelt geredet. Und auch darüber, wie man Pioniergeist in die Politik und Wirtschaft bringt. Christine Meyer hat von ihm wissen, welches die fünf wichtigsten Momente in seinem bisherigen Leben waren. If I start chronologically, I think the The most important first moment were the moments with my mother when I was making walks in forests, in mountains, speaking about the purpose of life. And I always had a lot of questions about why do we live? What's the meaning of all the experiences we have? Is there a God or not? Why do we die? Why are we born? And she was so fantastic because When she knew an answer, she told me what she believed, and she always said, this is my opinion, there are other opinions. And very often, I, she, she told me, I don't know, but maybe you will find out. And it was so important for me. But is the fear of failing the fear what stops people going on? Why are we so afraid of failing? In Europe, it's the fear of failing, yes. In America, not. But, what, but why are we so afraid it, of failing? It's, it's cultural. If you fail in Europe, you are done. You are a failure. That stays if like you are, If you are in America, you fail twice, you find millions, because people will understand that you will not make the same mistake a third time, and uh, you have more chance to succeed. The more you fail in the US, the more you learn and the better you get. In, in Europe, the more you fail, the lower you go and the less people will trust you. I, I tell you, I, when I failed with the Brighting Obiter 1, I saw who were my friends. Very fast, huh? The, f the one who came for Brighting Obiter 3 were not necessarily friends. I understand. They came because I was successful. Mm -hmm. It's easier to have friends then. Yeah. But there are no friends. No, no, but when you fail, you know who are the friends. Uh, Solar Impulse today is like a platform. It's, it's a tool you, know, mm. you use for spreading your message. Mm. What is your message concretely? The message is that you have to make the protection of the environment profitable. It's not enough to say the world is beautiful, nature is a miracle, life is a wonder and we have to protect it. Because it's not like this that the big corporations are going to pay the salary of hundreds of thousands of people at the end of the month. On the other side, you cannot continue like we do now, destroying the environment simply to pay salaries and have a good life. And the situation for the environment is extremely critical. It's not only a question of climate change. It's a question of biodiversity. It's a question of pollution of air. There are billions of dollars that go every year just in hospitals to pay for chronic bronchitis, asthma, and lung cancer. So just to name these cancers and these problems. So, so of course, you cannot continue like that. And you have to reconcile the two. And for me, the way to reconcile the two is to replace all the outdated, inefficient, and polluting systems that we still use like combustion engines, incandescent light bulbs, badly insulated houses, outdated heating or cooling systems, completely stupid grids compared to smart grids, uh, old in the industrial process. All this is producing half of the CO2 that goes in the atmosphere every year. Half of it is only due to that because it's not efficient and energy is lost. And by the way, it also protects the environment. But if you don't tell it to President Trump, he, he will like it. Just don't say it protects the environment. Just say it protects the economy. <laughs> but, by the, but it does both. So that and, means and this is what we have to do today. Okay, last question, Bertrand Picard. When you were sitting in that plane alone, and it was flying day and night, you had to fight uh, to, sl to sleep, maybe. 
What did you learn about yourself? I learned that confidence is more important than courage. Thank you.